Yeah, hi guys. Due to so much debate and argument between the monocrystalline and the polycrystalline, I decided to do a practical base test with the two types of solar panels. Here I have a monocrystalline, which is a 150 watts, and here I have one unit of uh, a polycrystalline, which is also a 150 watts. But the problem here is that I discovered that the monocrystalline is a bit longer than the polycrystalline. But still, I'll carry out the practical base test since uh, both of them are rated 150 watts. The first practical base test will be under uh, a high weather or harsh weather, which is under sun. The second one will be under shade. Then we'll compare the two results and see which one works better. We are now doing the first practical uh, base test, which is under which is under sun. If you can see very well, this is summertime, so the sun is really not harsh. But our monocrystalline, which is a 150 uh, watt solar panel, is giving 22.8 volt, while the polycrystalline is giving 18.1 volt under this weather condition. So the next thing we'll be checking is the current. After checking the current, then we'll take it to shade to see how far both of them will work under low weather condition. So if you, are, if you can see the meter very well, our monocrystalline still tends to produce more current than the polycrystalline under this weather condition. Uh, the monocrystalline is giving 6.5 amps and the polycrystalline is giving 5.3 amps. So this is the second practical base test under a shade. Here we have monocrystalline and here we have polycrystalline. This very digital multimeter is working on the monocrystalline and this very one is working on the polycrystalline. On low weather condition, the, mono, uh, the monocrystalline is still giving us 1.8 amps and the polycrystalline is giving us uh, 1.5 amps. Under the low weather condition, there is you know, a little depreciation in the voltage. The polycrystalline, under uh, harsh weather, it was giving us 18 point something volts, while the monocrystalline was giving us uh, 22 point something volts. But under this uh, low weather condition, the monocrystalline is giving 21 point volts, while the polycrystalline is giving 17 point volts. See, this is still another practical based test using a different size of solar panel. Here is an 80 watt uh, polycrystalline solar panel. This also is 80 watt uh, monocrystalline solar panel. You can see this difference in sizes. This one tends to be bigger than this. So I'll be showing you what these two are capable of doing. First is the voltage. This very meter you are seeing is working on this polycrystalline solar panel. And if you can see, it's producing 19.4 volts and this for the polycrystalline. This very meter is working from the monocrystalline and is producing 21.3 volts. This very practical base test is under a sun, that's under harsh weather. So after this, we'll go to shade or low weather condition to carry out the second practical base test. So the second thing we'll be looking at is the current which each of these can produce. So let's check, let's check out uh, the current each of these will produce under this uh, harsh weather condition. So now we'll be checking the current each of these is producing. You know, this is a sun have gone back inside, but let's see, see what each of these is producing. Like I told you guys, this is a uh, 80 watts polycrystalline, and this, uh, uh, this is 80 watts monocrystalline. If you can see, this meter is working from the 80 watt polycrystalline, and the 80 watt polycrystalline is producing 1.6 uh, amps, which is the current. Then on the other side is a monocrystalline. This uh, very meter is working from this 80 watt monocrystalline. You can see this monocrystalline is producing 1.3 amps. With voltage, the monocrystalline is higher in voltage compared to the polycrystalline. The polycrystalline tends to produce more current compared to the monocrystalline. So let's do the second practical base test on that shade to see the results. So this is the second practical uh, test on that shade. So the polycrystalline tends to produce more current on that shade than the monocrystalline. This meter is working from the polycrystalline, producing 0.6 amps, and this very uh, meter is working from the monocrystalline, which is producing 0.5 amps under low weather condition. So let's check out the voltage to see how far it will produce. The second thing we are checking on these panels is the voltage. You can see this is polycrystalline, and this very meter is working from the polycrystalline. Is producing 18.4 volts while this very meter is working from the monocrystalline and is producing 20.2 volts. This uh, second practice is under the shade. The monocrystalline tends to produce high voltage compared to the polycrystalline, while the polycrystalline tends to produce more current compared to you know the monocrystalline solar panels. So after everything, both panels have proved that they can work under low weather condition and still work well under harsh weather condition.
my conclusion is that uh, the efficiency or the, uh, the the output of a solar panel depends on the brand and the quality of material use.